Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you guys are doing good um, Everything is fine It's again continuing the series How to get rid of the pornography My brother and sister If you have come to this far You have watched the last video Now the second step is for you To understand the industry When you understand the industry Inshallah you will not have that excitement Towards the industry For example if you know somebody On a public platform He is a celebrity or whosoever And then you spend some time with him You understand him You are no longer that excited This is the nature of human being If you excited to have the phone And you bought the phone And you have the phone And you spend some time with the phone Then you are no longer excited To have that same emotional feelings For uh, that phone anymore For that person or for the product So now the second step That's the psychological step That you need to read about the industry The black side of the pornography industry What happened to those actors And so on and so forth Because they are brothers uh, That I have personally helped them And for one brother This was enough He knew this is all acting and so on and so forth and he understood and he stopped it. So this idea, number one, go and study about the industry. How do you recruit people? How do you do all the acting and what's the dark side of the industry and why they are doing it and their billion dollar spending and why they are spending it and how many people are affected. Read all the side of this industry. Read. I think you should read at least five articles on this industry. So the more you understand the industry, the less you will be excited. Number two, what you need to do on this step is if you are still extreme and you know you, f you fail again, you watch that filthy stuff uh, online or offline, the best advice I can give you on this stage is, my brothers and sisters, to don't give up. You know, don't give up. As I said in the previous video, make shaitan to regret Because make him regret that, I, you know, I'm putting so much effort on this guy. You know, he's watching uh, this felt. I'm inviting him to do it. And again, he's returning back to Allah. Increase your good deeds. Increase your good deeds. Increase them. If you watch that felt, repent. There's a hadith of the Prophet wasallam in Zayi Bukhari that a man commits sin. There are six hours that he can repent. Before, after six hours, the sins are written. It's Sayyid Hadith. I can even put the, the link in the description. I had a video about this Hadith as well. Sayyid Hadith. Within six hours, repent. And again, go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go back to Allah subhanahu wa There's a brother complaining that I cannot pray, I cannot read the Quran because I feel guilty. It is, that's a good feeling. But go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I explained in the previous uh, video that how we are addicted and how we can control ourselves, I refer to the heart and the emotional attachment to those things. So this is the second. The third what you can do is if you haven't found someone to share this with and you can trust that person via online sources or a company or me, then speak to your closest friend who is martial arts religious. You don't have to say this is me. You can say this is my friend. I know the person who is uh, you, but you know, we can just say that in that way that this is my friend having this problem and yet you haven't emailed me. Please. I'm here to help you. And it's time consuming. I'm replying so many emails, you know, regarding this matter. But yet, I'm willing to help more brothers because I need to protect them. I need to help them. They need help. This is not a matter of saying, brothers, haram, don't do it. There are people who have committed suicide. There are people who have done horrible things to themselves, to their body. There's a brother who has burned his private part. Do you get it? There's a brother who has done that. He says, I can no longer take it disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But since it's disease, he's failing again and again and again. He, at the end, he burns his private part. Don't harm yourself. Don't punish yourself. What you can do is increase your good deeds. Give charity. Fast. The last part that I'm coming is, brother, you need to fast at least thrice a week. You need to fast one, two, three days. Fast. In the beginning. Then you can reduce the fasting. It's okay. The best is, at least three weeks in a week you need to fast. And, again, bring your all electronic devices to the public place, meaning that your living room, you, if you're living alone, invite someone to live with you, you know, try to maximize the free time that you have to watch porn and all these filthy things. Inshallah, follow these steps. I'm um, next video, I will share with you what's next and what you should do. If follow the previous video, follow this video, and I hope I have, these videos have benefited you. If they haven't benefited you, I'm not done yet. I'm still here to help you and give you more tips to overcome your pornography addiction. But after all, me, video, screen, mic, nothing will help you. You yourself can help yourself. Be strong. Be strong. Allah wants life. This is a test from Allah. This is from your own hand. This is your own evil. 
be strong inshallah wa ta'ala you will overcome it people overcome cancers people overcome many horrible disease drug addiction this is a small matter it just need commitments and also need a fear from allah fear from allah is sufficient to overcome this evil deed so inshallah we we'll see you next video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh